guys welcome to another pastel video so last time we talked about the little maison do pastel ones up in the top left i do have a video for the ones in the top right the little plate of pastels and today we're going to talk about these sennelier colors so i was really inspired i think it was last year by a video from robin marie smith about um, using pastels in her mixed media pieces and I will link a couple of her videos below uh, she used water with them and I was really intrigued by that so I have been collecting pastels even since before I uh, you know started using watercolor but I wasn't really sure how I wanted to use them really until I had seen her video so I was really excited about that and I have been able to incorporate it in it uh, pastels in a different way in my art so you can see this is the video we did last time of the La Maison pastels and I really love these pastels I love this set it's a beautiful set so you can go and look at that video and find out all about those but today we're just gonna uh, swatch a selection of these uh, Sennelier ones so I have some sort of colors and then I have a, a little box of neutrals as well. So I'm going to split this video into three videos, uh, just so that if you ever want to reference anything, you can see here were the swatches for the La Maison ones. And I will do the colors and then we'll do the neutrals in another video. So these will be the next video. And then we will also do a little project with uh, the pastels. And we'll actually combine the watercolors with the pastels as well. Okay, so you can see here the colors we're gonna swatch today. So it's not a huge selection. Uh, these are sort of the colors that I have gravitated towards and picked up a couple each time we're at the art shop. So the collection will still grow and I'll continue to swatch them as I, you know, uh, get more. So one thing I would caution about these is to use them in a well ventilated area and you know make sure you have the proper safety precautions in place. I'm using them just at my desk on camera here but I think that when I'm going to use them for large pieces I will probably go outside to do that. The fine particles can sort of get caught in your throat and so I also recommend uh, having some rose water or orange blossom water that you can kind of spray in your studio if that's a problem as well so anyway I really love these I love the colors you can see that I have a lot of muted purples here and when we did the initial swatches for the little plate of pastels so the ones you can see up at the top of the screen there there's some Diane Townsend's and a few different ones there and I have a video talking about those and swatching those out um, when we did that initial video I swatched out all the pastels that I had at the time and when I applied water I really loved the way the Sennelier ones handled the water so it became almost like a matte velvet so because I'm using watercolors which is mainly a flat medium if I want to do any artworks that have a little bit more body to them this is a really good way to incorporate that because uh, the finish just becomes really beautiful so you can see here my selection of greens and I really like to uh, get sort of a selection at the same time. So pick a few of the, you know, of one color group. Um, so there's still a few color groups missing here. The yellow that I actually chose is a sparkle yellow. So I really love it. It's a really pretty one. And I really wanted some softer pinks and peaches. But I figured that if I have the white or the pearl white and I have a little bit of a darker tint with those colors, I can add some of the white on top before I apply the water to make it uh, lighter.
So here are the finished swatches and you can see that the pastels do uh, go darker when you add the water and they dry, you know, the same color as the actual pastel. And so it just, it, you can see that the finish there is different between sort of just using your finger or using a blending tool to blend out the pastel versus applying uh, some water. Now what I'll probably be doing is using like a water gum arabic mix or a water and watercolor binder mix and so i'm trying to kind of put the uh, number of the pastels on the screen here but if you have any questions you can just ask me in the comments and there are lots of different ways to get this type of effect you can use your gelatos or um, you know watercolor mediums with more body and I have a couple of those on my wish list and we will talk about those uh, as I can get them. So I hope this kind of makes sense and then uh, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense as I do the... Um, we're, going, we're going to do sort of a Louis style couch in... So not the next video, that will be the neutrals and then we will do a video just doing a little sort of painting. I'm just going to show you here so I am using the pastel first off just to create a wreath since we have been talking about wreaths and this is a really good one for all year round you can do a spring wreath an autumn wreath so I really like it at this stage and then I think this is a classic example of overworking but I just wanted to do a quick sketch to kind of show you the type of thing I'll be doing so here I'm just applying the pastel and then different colors, colors that I'm happy to blend together when I apply the water. So I'm already pre-empting the fact that they will blend um, and you know, making sure I'm happy with uh, that. And you can see here like didn't, I was struggling. I think this was late at night and I, and yeah, anyway, so um, then I just go through and start applying the water now you can do this in layers uh, if you have more time you can just do the leaf portion let that dry and then do the flowers and really at this stage I'm just experimenting with different uh, ways to use them and uh, you know different techniques and approaches So that is the first uh, installment of the pastel videos for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're doing okay. Um, I tried to have this video up yesterday but hopefully um, they'll all be up tonight. So I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.